principle of the Cartesian diver may be demonstrated in quite a simple way. A plastic drinks bottle, which has been filled with water, but not all the way to the top, to about that level, and a little squeezy dropper for transferring liquids, commonly found in a laboratory. And if we were to immerse this in the water, um, we can demonstrate the principle of the diver. But a number of things make it more effective. One is to attach one or two little nuts to add weight to it to ensure that it floats in a vertical uh, direction. And the second thing is this little bathing costume just to make it more visible because this isn't so visible inside the, the plastic bottle. So with this in place and letting it into the water, we find that it floats. And if we close the lid and seal it tightly, the diver is floating near the surface. But as we squeeze the bottle to increase the pressure, we observe that the diver sinks. Releasing the pressure brings the diver to the surface. Inside the chamber, of course, there's air, but there's also some water driven up into it when we squeeze on the container. The reduction in air inside this makes it less buoyant and consequently it sinks. When we release the pressure, the water comes back out again and the enlarged air chamber enables it to come to the surface. We can also demonstrate the same principle with a little sachet of tomato ketchup. And if we squeeze on the bottle, it sinks. And if we release the pressure, it rises.